course I don't owe you any more money. Hi, I'm Matt Croix from Misunderstoods, and you're watching the Misunderstoods Low Budget Movie Equipment Demo Series. Today we're going to be learning about the boom op. You can hear me right now, but I don't have a microphone on. That's because we're using a boom op. Raise. As you can see, my helpful handy Nick is now helping me by taking my voice down with a boom up. So we're going to take you through a couple different strategies today that is going to safely help you effectively use a boom op in a low budget film. Our first position, demonstrated by my friend Nick Lane here, is the shovel. Comes from an underneath angle, you can twist the cords around. As you can see, it gives you a lot of flexibility if I move around from left to right. It's important to keep your mouth by the microphone at all times because if I step away, obviously you can, you can no longer hear me. The London Bridge pose is popular, po probably the most popular pose because it allows you to, to, to pretend that you are uh, 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 recording from a very set. Let's take again. The second position is known as the London Bridge. As you can see, I can stand completely under the mic. It doesn't interfere with my uh, interactions with anybody else on set. Uh, the London Bridge is probably most popular in drama films. If I wanted to bring someone up close and kiss them very closely, it could get in, it could get all the mouth action, you could really catch some saliva interaction. Third, and a personal favorite of mine, is the sniper position. As you can see, Nick is looking down, down the, uh, the, mic, the mic shaft uh, in a similar way to a gunman. Uh, this one's good for long distance shooting. Um, you are able to uh, catch things, that, people interacting at long distances. So even if you aren't involved in the film shooting, you can hear what they're saying, you can record it at your home uh, and make a, possibly make a home video off of it. The next one we're showing is the tornado. As you can see, the boom uh, mic is twisting as I'm talking. This gives the sound effect that you're hearing, we of course cannot. Uh, where, where we're kind of spinning. It feels like the audience is spinning around. Not the most effective way to record, as you can probably already tell, uh, but, but, but a fun time and a good way for a boom up to, uh, you know, uh, meet women and, and, and look, look like a badass on set. <laughs> the next position is the cowboy. As you can see, Nick Lane here, it looks like he's riding on the back of a horse having a great time. But he's not. He's helping me record uh, this, this demo video for you uh, uh, while keeping sound, uh, sound tabs on me. Arnold, 1992, Mr. Universe pageant. This pose allows you to have good flexibility without stiffening up your joints, without stiffening up your joints, while looking like a badass while doing it. Uh, this, it's most commonly used, um, well, it's not, let's be honest, it's not really used very often. Really? The next position, for all you intense filmmakers out there, is the hot shot. As Nick is displaying, he can, uh, it allows you to be an actor while also booming yourself. So in case you have extreme low budget and no friends to help you out, you can still make movies. And for those of you who had a long day at the office, our final position is called the Lazy Susan. As you can see, Nick is able to boom me the entire time without any use of his hands or arms. Our final position, for you animal lovers and documentary film buffs out there, is called the Rhino. As you can see, and Nick's favorite position, the Porn Star. Thank you for, thank you for tuning into our instructional video. Have a wonderful day.